Iris, the goddess of the rainbow, protector of the earth, messenger of the gods, was given a mission by Olympus. Iris, on the earth, in the air, in the seas, you must keep an eye on the behavior of men. The gods warned her. You must only watch. You will respect their free will, and you will never show yourself to men's eyes. For centuries, she found harmony among the sea, the earth, and its inhabitants. They prospered in balance. Proud of the beauty of the sea and of men's behavior, she admired their progress. She watched their knowledge grow, little by little, and also their ambitions. In just a few decades, barely two colors were left. They whitened the corals. Because of men's behavior, the Gorgonians withered. The landscapes were poor. Among plastics, groupers and cardinal fishes, the colors of all the fish faded. A new rainbow stretched over the sea, caused by men. Iris, the protector of the seas, ignored what the gods said and appeared over her arch, and that energy saved her possessions. When Iris and her rainbow were seen by men, the fury of the gods was unleashed. Today, Iris, punished, stripped of her rainbow, lives imprisoned in the abyss, in the dungeon of the gods. Iris paid for our mistakes. The sea no longer receives the aid of the gods. Solutions will not come from Olympus. There is only one hope, and it comes from men, not from the gods. The spirit of Iris beats in the deepest part of some men and women. Among us, possessed by Iris's spirit, they are working hard without the gods' reward. To all those who have fought so that the sea won't lose its colors. Ambassadors of the spirit of Iris, volunteers, children and adults, NGOs, activists, scientists, public servants, and managers.